hi in this video we are going to discuss about software development life cycle what are all the different phases will be there how the process in real time who are the different people going to involve in our project right from beginning of the project to ending of the project how the things will happen in real time and what are all the different interview questions they may ask in the interview on SDLC software development life cycle ok let's start there are six phases are there to develop a application or to deliver a application to the client every company every pro every manager or every client should follow these all six phases those are requirements analysis design coding testing delivery and maintenance now clearly we will discuss about all these six phases what is going to happen in real time how the things will happen the first one is requirement phase in the previous video we have seen what is requirement who is giving the requirement what is the importance of understanding the requirement for tester we have seen requirements phase we are going to talk about how to gather the requirements from the customer before that before that how we are going to get the projects from the different customers any company every company sales team will be there their job is to talk to the customer understand their requirement and giving it to the bidding teams the bidding team job is to okay eye level they need to understand the customer and their expectations they need to give the bidding to the customer and get it approved by the customer and then we are going to get a project from the particular client and then these all phases will be started so requirements phase what will happen is the business analyst the project manager a test manager or test lead we are high level management is going to identify all of them and they will go to the client location and they are going to gather the requirements from the customer they are going to understand the challenges in those requirements once they gathered all those requirements they come back to the company they will start the business analyst will start preparing the business requirements verification document he will try to put each and every requirement given by the customer and he will send the document to the customer back then client will verify <coughs> sorry client will verify or customer will verify whatever the requirements given by him or, he, or she everything is covered or not if everything is okay then well and good if something is missing then client will update to the BA to include all of them into the document so once client approves the requirement document then requirements phase is completed so output in the requirements phase is either it will be a business requirement document or SRS software requirement document functional requirement document or business document business design document so different companies may call it as a different names but obviously all of these documents are having <coughs> sorry all of these documents are having requirements okay this is something is going to happen in the requirements phase output in the requirements phase is requirement document well the next phase is analysis phase in this phase we are going to discuss about feasibility study whatever the budget given by the bidding team or is it feasible to develop the application and test the application and deliver it to the customer whatever the challenges we are having are we able to complete this project in on time or not or if it is going to take more time or more budget then immediately immediately our management is going to update to the customer because of these are all so and so challenges we may not able to complete this project in so and so time or so and so budget 
So that is something going to happen in the feasibility study phase in the part of analysis. The next one is they are going to select the technology and the environment. Which technologies we have to use? Which database we have to use? Which, what is the development language we need to use? What are the servers we are going to use? What are all the different tools required for us? These are all things they are going to find out in the selection of technology and environment section. The next one is team building. So the project manager and development lead, test lead, they understood how much challenge is there. Based on that, they are going to identify in how many number of people are required for the development and testing. They are going to identify the team. So that team, they are going to build the team. If they are having their own people on the bench in the inside of the company, then they, they will take it from the bench and they will allocate it to the project. If they don't have any bench resources, bench resources is something like uh, the company recruited some people but they are not allocated with any project. There's people we are calling on bench. So that is what going to happen in team building. Next, the requirement analysis. So each and every team, once team building is completed, everybody need to understand the requirements. Then business analyst will explain each and every requirement to the entire team. Team includes development team, testing team, architects team, database team, servers team, a deployment team, anybody. So based on the requirement analysis, the business analyst will explain each and everything to the entire team based on that everybody will understand the requirements. And each and every team they need to prepare their own understanding document. The project manager or their respective lead will verify that and send it to the client to build confidence to the client that entire team understood the requirements and then the planning phase is going to start we are going to plan the activities like what is the development plan what is the testing plan how much time it is going to take for the development to complete it how much time testing is going to complete it the project manager will prepare a plan with the help of development lead and test lead they include both the plans and they will send it to the client for approval. So based on the concerns raised by the customer, our team will update accordingly until we get the sign off, until we get the approval from the customer. So these are all the things going to happen in the analysis phase. Next phase is design phase. Here more of architects people are going to involve here. Once they understood the requirements, they will think on what is the design of our entire project. How we need to design. They are going to develop some documents, high level design document and low level design documents with the help of UML, Unified Modeling Language. So they are going to uh, design the entire architecture of the project. So that is the job of the architects team in the design phase. After design phase, we are moving into the coding phase. In the coding, the development people are going to involve here. They will understood the framework or architecture designed by the architects. They need to understand and they need to develop the coding for our application based on the requirement document. They will start coding. They will start developing the programs. They will start designing the UI part of our entire application. So that is the job they are going to do in the coding phase. So, so far we have seen requirements phase, analysis phase, design phase, coding phase. In these all phases, in the interview they may ask you questions. What is a requirement document? Who will prepare it in your project? What will be there in the requirement document? Who will go to the client location? What is the exactly process going to happen in the beginning of your project? What is the job of a business analyst? What is the job of a architect? When the project manager is going to enter into the picture? How you are building the confidence to the customer on his requirements? Example is understanding document we are preparing. Based on that we are giving confidence to the customer that entire team understood the requirements. What is the job of your architects? What is the job of your development team? 
so what is the output in the requirement space what is the output in the analysis phase design phase coding phase all these things we have discussed very clearly so now i hope you are in the position to answer any question until coding phase okay so these are all the questions in the interview they may ask you you should be in the position to answer each and every question okay so in the next video we will discuss about testing phase thank you so much